हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी यूनिट नंबर टू एसी सर्किट्स इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ बैंड विथ ऑफ रेजोनेंस सर्किट एंड व्हाट इज क्यू फैक्टर सो आई होप यू आर रेडी विथ योर पेन एंड पेपर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस टाइप ऑफ रेजोनेंस सर्किट यू हैव रिमेंबर्ड आरएलसी रेजोनेंस सर्किट so first we will get some idea little bit very quickly and then we will move on with bandwidth and q factor okay so over here i will write that in previous video we have discussed that resonance means what if you have remembered resonance means what that uh, maximum current will flow current will flow maximum current will flow and at that time condition was what that value of xc and xl both must be equal and how we can make x c and x l both values equal so by changing the angular frequency so that the frequency will be changed and we have assumed that at omega not angular frequency or f not which is known as resonant frequency value of x l and x c would become same so that maximum current will flow through the circuit so that resonance occurs okay after that we have drawn one diagram also if you have remembered so over here i will draw the same diagram that is current versus frequency and diagram would be like this and uh, what we said that at one frequency which is known as resonant frequency at one frequency resonant frequency flow of current is maximum so at that point current value is maximum so that resonance takes place also we have discussed about the role of resistance r what we said that r will control the resonance or r will increase or decrease the intensity of resonance or sharpness of the curve how as for example if i will write ohm's law v is equals to i r so i is equals to what v by r now if we will increase the value of r so what happen value of i will decrease so as for example if i will increase the value of r so i will decrease so over here suppose 1 ohm resistance is there for that maximum current is this now i will take suppose 2 ohm so suppose for 2 ohm i will draw like that curve that is for 2 ohm and at that time maximum current is this that means current is decreased that means sharpness of curve right now sharpness of curve is this and as resistance you are increasing so what happens sharpness is decreasing why current is decreasing so this type of thing we have discussed so that is all about the story of what story of a resonance now we will move on with what we will move on with a bandwidth okay now bandwidth if you want to understand so for that purpose a uh, same diagram we will draw but uh, question is what that instead of f can we write omega yes we can write why because so, omega is equals to what 2 pi f that means 2 pi is constant so omega is directly proportional to f so f can be replaced by omega so over here i will write instead of f i will write omega so that frequency will be what angular frequency omega not at which resonance takes place so current becomes maximum okay after that i will draw one line one horizontal line from this point c that type of line i have drawn and at this point value of current would be what value of current would be i max divided by root 2 and corresponding to this current value of angular frequency will be omega 1 and value of another angular frequency is omega 2 okay so student remember that that this width this width of this curve width of this curve is known as what is known as bandwidth which is denoted by delta omega so you should remember one thing which one that delta omega is known as bandwidth and its equation is what omega 2 minus omega 1 higher minus lower so i will write omega 2 minus omega 1 also value of bandwidth its standard which is r by l now that value you should accept without any proof so omega 2 minus omega 1 or bandwidth is what 
R by L. So that equation is important to remember. Okay. Now, if we talked about these two distances, yeah, that is first distance, that is another distance. So that distance would be equal and half of this R by L. Okay, so that will be your one half R by L and that is your one half R by L. So total R by L. So I will write one half R by L again one half R by L. Okay, if you will add both of this quantity, so you will get R by L. Why distances are equal? Because curve is symmetry from the center line. Okay. Now, uh, we will find out the value of this uh, omega 1 and omega 2. So, first I will find the value of omega 1. Now, omega 1 will be what? So, from this diagram, we can say we want that much distance. That is nothing but what? Omega 1. That is question mark for us. How we'll find that much distance? So, I will say that uh, that is your omega naught. That is omega naught. And from that omega naught, I will minus that much distance. Omega naught minus that much distance. So, omega 1. That much distance is how much? That much distance is R by 2L. So, same thing I will write over here. That is omega 1 is what? Omega naught minus R by L. So, omega naught minus R by 2L. Okay. Okay. Now, we know very well that omega is equal to 2 pi f. So, instead of omega, can I replace 2 pi f1 is equal to omega naught is 2 pi f naught is equal to what? Is equal to, um, okay, minus R by 2L. So, 2 pi f1 is equal to, I will take 2 pi as common. So, into the bracket, it will be your f0 minus r divided by 2 pi, I have to take common. So, 2 pi, 2 pi will get cancelled. Original term you will get. Remaining is 2L. So, 2 pi, 2 pi will get cancelled. So, f1 is equal to what? It will be your f0 minus r by 2 to the 4 pi L. So, that is the value of frequency, first frequency. Okay. Similarly, we will find the value of omega 2. So, omega 2 if I want to write. So, how I can write omega 2? That means now I require that much distance. That is omega 2. So, that much distance omega 2 if you want to write. So, how you can write that distance plus this distance. That distance is how much? R by 2L. So, omega 2 is equal to omega naught plus R by 2L. So, omega naught plus R by 2L again instead of omega you can write 2 pi f so 2 pi f 2 is equal to 2 pi 2 pi f naught plus r by 2L so 2 pi f 2 is equal to 2 pi I will take common f naught plus r by 2 pi I have to take common so divide by 2 pi multiply with 2L so 2 pi 2 pi will get cancelled so f 2 is equal to what it will be your f naught plus r divided by 4 pi l so that is the frequency which is f2 so bandwidth is always considered between these two frequencies f1 and f2 so i hope you are able to understand in f1 and f2 okay now the most important statement i am going to write regarding to that bandwidth what that for good tuning or you can say for good picture quality, you can say. Or tuning. Tuning or you can say for good quality of audio, video. In the case of what? In the case of TV, in the case of uh, radios, in the case of uh, mobile phones. Okay. Certain six conditions are there. So, first condition is what? That uh, whatever sharpness of this curve is there. Sharpness means what? If you will increase the value of R, increase the value of R. So, current will be less, current will be less means sharpness is decreased. That is sharp. Then as you are increasing the value of R, so sharpness is decreased like this. So, that less current will flow. So, first condition is what? For better audio video quality, first condition is what? That uh, whatever sharpness of curve is there that sharpness of curve should be high okay 
if sharpness of curve should be high so bandwidth would be less as for example that is the sharp curve so over here that bandwidth is delta omega supposing now next curve is like this so it is not sharp so bandwidth is more so sharpness of curve is more that means bandwidth is less so bandwidth means delta omega should be less okay third one if you required high sharpness of curve that means current value should be maximum and if current value should be maximum then resonance should be maximum so over here i will write resonance should be maximum if resonance should be maximum that means value of current value of current then only it will sharp so value of current should be maximum okay and if value of current you required high then value of r should be less if value of r should be less then only current will be high then only maximum resonance then only that which will be low so over here i will write value of r should be less and last six number point is which one that uh, over here whatever inductor is there inductance is that its value should be less why it should uh, value should be less because if oh, sorry its value should be high why its value should be high then only bandwidth will be less inversely proportional to so inductance value should be high then only bandwidth will be less then only sharpness of the curve will be more so these are the six conditions that must be satisfied for what for good tuning or to get batch, better picture quality or audio video okay now that same thing we can understand with the help of q factor okay now over here i will write q factor means what so q factor is nothing but it is a ratio of uh, that is your angular resonance frequency omega not whose equation you have derived previously which is equals to 1 upon root l c okay and band with delta omega later we will understand this equation first of all we will derive the equation of q factor okay so q factor is equals to on uh, omega not is how much that you have derived 1 upon root lc divided by delta omega means bandwidth is what r by r by l so can i write like this 1 upon root lc multiply with what l by r so it will it will be 1 upon r l l will get cancelled so above that root l divided by c so that is the value of q factor that equation you have to remember okay now we'll understand this equation okay now for better picture quality sharpness of the curve should be more uh, bandwidth should be less that means over here if you will take less bandwidth that means q factor will be high that means if less bandwidth you will take so picture quality will be good that means tuning is good that means for better tuning q factor value you should keep high clear okay now we will come over here that what we want we want a good tuning better picture quality for that what we have to keep we have to keep q factor value high and if you want to keep q factor value high at that time value of r should be less for better tuning so over here we will check yes value of r should be less for good tuning and also q is directly proportional to l so value of inductance should be high then only q factor will be high then only better picture quality you will get so over here we will check inductance should be high so that we will get good tuning and uh, value of capacitance should be low so that q factor would be high so that is all about the story of bandwidth of resonance circuit with uh, uh, you can say q factor so i hope uh, you are able to understand this now i would like to end this video so till then read hard work hard thank you very much